Good morning beautiful people, how is everybody doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, I'm Dan. Uh, today I'm gonna review this Derma E SPF 30 powder. It is gonna be a pretty short video because I don't have that many things, that many good things to say about this one. Um, but uh, by the way, I am super hangover today. I had a mini party, well it was not a mini party, I just had a, I just had a lot of alcohol at, last night, let's just put it that way. <laughs> So today I am, um, well, not the greatest, I'm, uh, I guess my English skills are, 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 yeah, my English skills are not gonna be that great today, <laughs> and uh, I might not look that okay, I look pretty tired actually, but um, yeah, it is what it is, I don't know why I always decide to film videos either after a uh, chemical peel or after a party, there's something going on. <laughs> By the way, I got all these new pimples, uh, well not many pimples, I just got some pimples and some redness in here. I, I guess it's from the alcohol, but uh, guys, let me know in the comments below, is there anybody here who also gets pimples from alcohol? Like, is that a thing? Uh, <laughs> okay, back to the powder. Derma E Sun Protection Mineral Powder SPF 30. Uh, I saw many people on online recommend this one, but to me, this was such a, such a huge disappointment, such a fail. Um, first of all, the color, the color is so orange, so, well, not, not even yellow, it's kind of yellow, orange, something like that. And I don't have like the palest skin, like I've seen people with much more pale skin than me, and even on camera, I think like I may look pretty pale on the camera, but I, I'm not, I'm definitely not. And I cannot imagine how this one would look on a paler skin, because it looks very orange to me, and I'm pretty sure people with pale skin cannot use this one. I mean, it would look pretty awful, I would say. I don't know. Maybe I got a bad product or how but yeah, the color is definitely not the best. Um, and that is not even the biggest, the bigger pro the biggest problem. English skills, come back. Uh, the application of this one is such a struggle. It is so bad. I mean, I guess I'm gonna show you guys how I apply this one, they say you should do this, so you get product on the brush. I tried like opening, oh, let me just show you, I tried opening the brush uh, in kind of like, kind of like inside, I would do this, and also try to get some product on the, uh, what's the name of this, on the brush, but it doesn't work, I mean, um, as soon as I'm trying to apply this on my face, it just, I get some product in here, nothing in here, too much product in here, like it, it's uh, such a bad application, uh, okay. And I tried with circular motions, can you see, I don't think you can see anything, like, I don't think I even, I don't think I get any product on my face, any powder, but uh, also try like doing this, to maybe get some product. But these moves are so like, I need to press so hard to get some product that I, I feel like I'm getting off all of my sunscreen. Like, I don't know how people are using this shit, but it's so bad. It goes pretty good on my, on my nose, I would say. Like, I guess because of the shape, like, I don't, yeah, I definitely get a lot of powder on my face, but sometimes it looks pretty bad. Like, It also takes a lot of time to do this, like, I don't think this is normal. Um, well, I don't know, I, I was thinking maybe I should just get out the product from here and uh, put it in another container and use it like a brush to do this, because the application is my, the applicator is my biggest problem, it's such a, it's just struggle. So yeah, I mean, by the way, I had sunscreen on my face, I do wear sunscreen, I purposely chosen, chosen? one that uh, has a white cast because I'm trying to 
balance things out uh, otherwise I would look too orange it does it looks pretty okay on the camera however uh, when I look in the mirror it is not the greatest I I just don't enjoy this product I just looked at the mirror uh, it is not the cutest picture I mean uh, it might look pretty good on the camera uh, in this lightning but uh, I just looked into the mirror it's so well, it's not like super orange today, but because I'm wearing that uh, sunscreen that has a white cast, but it's, I have too much product in here, too much on my nose, nothing here, uh, and like, it has good ingredients though, it has uh, titanium dioxide, which is a min mineral filter, 17%, it has zinc oxide, 20%, which is a pretty high amount, it has some um, iron oxides, which are gonna protect from, uh, and protect your skin, from uh, um, blue light, that's very beneficial for uh, people who are dealing with melasma. Uh, but overall, I mean, I'm not gonna repurchase this one. Repurchase this one definitely. And um, you guys, let me know how was your experience with this one if you've ever used it. I mean, maybe you had a bad experience. Maybe I'm not using it right. I definitely think uh, people with pale skin. I cannot recommend this one to you guys. I mean, it's not even a question. But yeah, that is my review for Derma E Sun Protection Mineral Powder SPF 30. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope, I hope you find it helpful. I hope I saved some money. I saved you some money. Um, if you did so, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, let me know in the comments below, like I said, if you ever use this one. Are there any other mineral powders that I should check? better ones um that's it love you all see you all my next video bye oh by the way follow me on instagram facebook and uh subscribe to this channel bye